let's talk about adding text to our virtual exhibit. So I'm still in the Add and Place Your Artifacts tab. I'm looking over at the left-hand side where we have images, video, 3D objects, and text. And if I click on text, just like with the images, any text that you've created for other projects in Art Steps carries over to this area as well. Um, and I've got some text already here. I'm going to click on Welcome to the Milstead Mini Museum, and I'm going to click to place it on the front of my gallery. It's a little hard to see from this view, so I do recommend you switch view. And then you can use the tools that you saw with images to apply them to text. So I can use the Move tool to move it around. I can use the Rotate tool to spin it, and I can use the Scale tool to resize it. Let me move this up above the doors here, make it look a little bit better. Okay, um, let's talk about what editing you can perform on the text itself. So I'm going to click into the text I've already set up. Pretty much what you can do is to change the color. So I clicked on the color bar here. And I'm going to pick a lovely Drake green, and I will save that. And now we have green text. Let me go back in to edit that text by clicking on the thumbnail. You can choose your alignment, left, center, right. And if you have made it interactive, you could add a description to it, which would tell you more about the exhibit space. You could have audio as well, which would be a cool introduction. So just in the same way we applied audio to our exhibit images, you could do the same with text. So totally useful. Let's go inside and place some other text in our museum. Here we go, taking a little walk around. All right, here's a nice blank wall for some text. I'm gonna close that color bar for us. Okay, so Here's the tricky part about text, friends. Art Steps does not format or justify your text at all. So I have already written a um, description of my exhibit that I'd like to place on one of the interior walls. I do recommend that you write in Google Docs simply so that you can take advantage of um, typing in something that's a little bit more friendly and enjoy some spell check, etc. So. I'm going to copy this, go back over to Art Steps, click on Add Text, and I will paste it in, and I will call it Description. Okay, awesome. Uh, I'll keep the alignment left, and I'll make the color also Drake Greenish. Okay, so I got that. I'm going to save it. And here is the text that I just added. So I'll click on it. Now look at what it's done though, friends. Even though we pasted it in as a nicely formatted paragraph in Art Steps, it is determined to make it, um, well, one long line. The only break in the line itself is if you have um, pressed enter on your keyboard when you were typing. So. Let's remove this, and I'll show you what we have to do. We go to edit this text. So even though it looks nicely formatted here, what I discovered is that I have to go into the text in Art Steps itself and press Enter where I think I want the line breaks to be. So I'm literally pressing Enter, also known as Return, on the keyboard. Um, do I love this? No. Is there a workaround? Not that I've discovered. So if you figure one out, um, pass it on, friends. So I'm going to drag that window just to make this a little bit bigger so we can see what we're up to here. I'm almost done. Um, moderately annoying, but it's not like you have to do this. 
over and over again. Okay, so now let me save that. And let me get rid of this one. It's trying to place. So now it's going to reflect the changes that I just put in. And there we go. So it's a little bit of a pain, but not insurmountable. I believe in you that you can do it. Now, another way I have seen people set up text is to create it somewhere else in a graphics program as a and save it as a an image file so as a jpeg or a png and then they can not only have access to the formatting that they want but you can also then enjoy using different fonts because as you've noticed here in art steps you are limited to only one font choice so that covers a little bit about adding text to your art steps gallery thanks for watching